Good evening. Uh, and again, to reiterate what Kenny said, I hope you had a good, safe holiday. Okay, easy the eye. Uh, we have a character. You are a character. It's Bobby or Robert, whatever level I'm at, character. Okay. There is an I in around here someplace, an I self eventually. We'll start with the word I. Uh, oh, since I said one problem at this first level here is the uh, I and the character are so tightly hooked in, can't tell one from the other. People just don't have a sense of who's who here. Okay, now following that, easy, settle to our basics, and look at it, play with it like there's two things here. There's the I that's kind of a free agent as it disconnects, disengages from the character. Okay, easy the eye infers disengaging from the character where the eye begins to, for lack of words, experience itself as a freer agent. Okay, as we continue, continue eventually uh, the eye as it gets freer and freer, aware of itself, experiencing itself as an I, might change its name and say, I prefer self. Eventually, it may change its name as we continue through finer dimensions, uh, where it'll be, a, I'm a more original I, or I'm a purer I, uh, I self will come in. So, uh, and whatever, words that it itself wants to name itself. So, but we'll use I and eventually I self. Uh, is that okay? Are we okay so far? Now, uh, back in the Esalen, just to reminisce a bit, back in the Esalen days, I used to use a word with feeling and I'd say, easy, easy. And I would use that word a lot with that tonality, if I remember. Easy, easy. And what began to happen a year later, two years later, people would come back for a, a, to do my workshop again. And, 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 and they'd say, wow, that easy was like magical. I'm like, really? because I wasn't presenting it at that time that I was aware of as a magic word. Uh, but I heard it and somebody else said it and somebody else said it. I said, oh, okay, something going on here. I think they're easy and they were getting a freer eye heading towards a finer self. And when you do, do that, you reach a finer dimension. So it's another way of going from a, uh, a one by to a two by, or from a Bobby to a Robert, uh, or from a, uh, what's, what's our other one? Uh, we have a, an, another one that we use, Bobby Robert. Uh, uh, oh, sensei. Huh? Sensei. Yeah. Sensei, we, we'd go Sensei, Sensei of Aikido. Oh, da, 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 yeah. Okay, is that was that it? <laughs> Sorry. Any, anyway, that that this is just a dimensional change, ten pounder to a twenty pounder. Okay, now instead of trying to drag this heavier Bobby through a dimensional barrier into a finer dimension, so he's, he's coming at it as a ten pounder. He's trying to be a twenty pounder. So there could be a lot of conflict there. Okay, you start, I don't know, fighting yourself, your 10 pounders fighting the, the 20 pounder. Okay, or your uh, one by is getting confused by the beginning presence of a two by. 
Okay. If sort of following me, sort of. <laughs> okay. Easy the eye, easy the eye as a separate unit from the body. It's a freer unit. Okay. It's not stymied or really stopped by dimensional walls where the physical body might might be stopped a bit, you know, the 10 pounder trying to be at 20 and there's obstructions there. So any sense, easy to play with it for a moment. There's a body, we establish the body, body. We'll establish them. And here also is an eye, easy the eye. I easy. It's disengaging. It's a freer unit. Easy the eye. Okay. For example, my sense right now, my sense is this easy the eye is passing through the body. It's more like around here. Past the body, easy the eye. Just a little flavor, there's a little more room here. Easy the eye. Easy, easy the eye. Easy. Now, ah, it, with that little playing around, anybody get anything with that easy the eye? Any any basics first to start us off? Help. <laughs> well, it, it felt um, it, it felt relaxing. Um, no tensions from earlier in the day no problems about anything that's going on. I recognize myself, but I'm in a comfortable place. Okay, easy the eye. He's still there, I have something different. Okay, now uh, uh, let's not go upwards in easy the eye, and easy the eye, easy the eye. I don't want you to miss the fuller experiences that we'll get into. So you could do it that way, but you're into the awareness of easy the eye. It's more emphasis on awareness only. Uh, easy. So we do it here. Don't go anywhere. It's here. And if you do the sort of the under, so easy the eye, settle, open. We're sort of heading this way, and that will include the awareness part, but you ex have the ability to experience. Okay, so this direction, if you would, as opposed to just that direction. Okay, this direction. Here, I'm deeper, but I'm here. Here, I am deeper. So that direction, is that okay? Uh, now, again, those two are really tied in tight together. Uh, so in your earlier practices, um, don't mind that it takes a little time, a, a few minutes, let's say, minimum. Okay, easy. One more shot on that. Settling. You got a body and the world he's in. Okay. But there's also another piece here. The eye. Okay, the eye is a different piece than this. Easy the eye, easy means disengaging. Yes, the body is still there. Yes, the problems are still there. Easy the eye, easy the eye. <clears throat> easy. This freer unit. sense of it 
deeper, easy, into a more, what, open space flavor. Easy the eye, easy the eye. And it'll be at first probably little things you'd want to do, like, is the body still here? Let me check, because I, I lost it for a moment. Oh yeah, it's still here. Uh, after all, don't, don't bother. Easy the eye, easy the eye. I remember back, Kenny uh, mentioned something about uh, the problems of the day, I think he said, uh, weren't there. I remember in my early years, uh, it came to me when he was talking that uh, one thing caught my attention uh, as I was sitting meditating one day was uh, I was in this, ex having this experience where the worries of the day didn't exist. And that like, wow, they don't exist. Are, are they gone? Because I meditated, did those problems disappear? And then when I was finishing the meditation, realized the problems were still there, but they weren't there when I was meditating because I was probably in easy the eye level or pattern, easy the eye. Okay. And again, anybody getting any any sense what your experience of an I disengaging? Is that an okay word? Disengaging from oh, the character body, Bobby. Easy the eye. Easy the eye. Your sense of an eye that's getting easier, that's disengaging. Talk to me. Your sense. I know it's early, but your sense. Again, just Since, unmute and go ahead. Sensei, Chris here. Chris here from New Zealand. The um, experience of sort of, well, I'm not too sure if it's correct, sort of move, moving into from my body into my body's field, sort of it's sort of left, but it's in the, still connected to a sort of an outer outer body. So it's sort of drifting through the levels and it's ex expansive, but not too far. It's free. And I think I'm not, sure if, I'm not too sure if field's the correct word. So my body's field, so I've shifted from an awareness of my body to an awareness of my, a, a field around my body. Okay. Okay. Feel right. Say more open space. She's calling that. A field around. Okay, it's different. Okay, so out of the heavy body, starting to move dimensionally, are going a bit dimensionally, and you know, there's a, a field around. Okay, and again, let's not get caught up in field, it's okay, but to continue and continuing, easy the eye. Easy the eye. Yes, there's a field, so noted. Now, easy the eye. Easy the eye. A sense of lighter for me. A sense of, oh, floating. Some kind of freeness. Yeah, floating. Floating. That word comes easy. Floating. Easy the eye. Somebody talk to me. Easy. What's your sense of an eye that's getting freer, that's disengaging? Your sense. Talk to me. Yeah, there's more, Yeah, there's joy. There's like happiness, joy, like a little sense of love that's beginning to come through. Okay. Let's see. At a certain level, uh, for some people, she's moved along maybe a little faster than some of you others. Remember, people are going to be start at different levels, and and uh, so don't don't use them as a gauge on how you're doing. You're starting with where you're at. 
your next levels are your next levels and it's moving through. Uh, so just keep track of your own. You can note what other people are saying. Uh, so a certain level of freedom and starts to pick up the, uh, what do we call it? Uh, 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 qualities, qualities of, of joy and some little flavors of niceness, lovingness, something in there. Uh, okay. I would call those a, a, a finer dimension of energy. Finer dimensions of energy will begin to show us qualities. Okay. Energy, finer levels. Oh, they're qualities. Finer levels. Eventually, you can call them kami. Does that make you happy? Kami? Okay. But sort of go through the levels a bit or, or have some practice with the levels. Don't just throw out words ahead of time. Like I sort of go, eh, if you throw out, call me. It's a nice word you learn. Stop it. Hang out with the energies for a bit till they're more balanced. Hang out with the balanced energies till they show qualities. Hang out with the qualities till they show finer, finer qualities. And on and on and on. Is that... Okay. Somebody else? Yeah, yes, I just... say Linda Eskin. Yes, Linda. Um, for, for me, um, there was a sense of um, like a blank page of potential and openness, receptivity. <laughs> that sort of quiet of having space to space to listen, space to receive. So in that quiet space, a self is getting freer and should we say experiencing the quiet space, is aware of experiencing the quiet space? Yeah. Yes, instead of filling it with chatter. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of our disengaging. If there's a bunch of chatter, then I, I think you're still caught up in your Linda world who chatters, <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sensei. Now, okay. Yeah. This, uh, Sean, Sean here. Um, yeah. what you, I like what you say when you say um, there's a balancing of the energies. And for me, it's like a sense of synchronizing of the senses. So like instead of being caught up in my my thinking or my seeing or my hearing uh, they all the sense fields sort of like are are balanced and they're almost merging like i'm i'm sense feeling red or or smelling red but i don't need to see it it's the it's their their the sense fields are are more harmonious they're just not not getting bogged down in the nitty gritty Okay. And the harmony level or the balance level is uh, nice to note because we're going to add something here after a bit. Because uh, what we're saying here is if, if you catch on a little clearer with the eye is a free agent and can pass through dimensional very fast to drag a 10 pound into a 20 pound space, I'm probably pretty good at it. I'm, I'm not sure my history on doing that, but I probably have done that a lot, probably even taught it a lot. Uh, uh, but this easy, the eye can pass through much easier, faster through dimensionality. Did I say that okay? The dimensional walls, uh, we call them membranes, uh, they're not really there for the free eye, eye self. Pass through dimensions really easy with this free eye, easy the eye, the free self uh, can really move. Okay. All right. Now, uh, let's say you're finished with your session. Uh, before you get up, at that level you're at, that level of balance, okay, that level of 
uh, harmony, however you're experiencing it. One fun trick there is to, an important piece, uh, who is the character? And at that level you're at, you're at, you let it naturally reassemble a character. So instead of Bobby trying to become a robber, I just easy through to a better level and at a better level. Hey, and, and, and there's a robber. Much easier, faster potential. Uh, I don't know if you follow that well. Did I say that well? Help. <laughs> Noah, give me a thumbs up if you're okay with that. <laughs> right. There he is. Okay. You okay with that, Bob? Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> He's my critiquer. No thumbs up. I have to continue. Uh, so where the hell so are I we? Have a, I have a question about that. Yeah. Um, this is Amy. Um, <clears throat> so when you are in that space and you're, hey, and you're creating a new character. Okay. Yeah. So you have to have a new character. Can you just come? Well, if you want to get up and cut wood, you better have a character. Okay. But can you bring that easy the eye back also? If that's, can you bring it back to this hate, to this character? Can that be a character? Yeah. 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 Easy the eye, easy the eye. Keep meditating, easy the eye. But if you gotta stand up and maneuver around, uh, it'd be nice to have a character. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, yeah. you're not going to stand up and move around. Mm. No? Right. No, I get it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. A character is not well known in the meditation circles. Okay? Well, since they thought it was damn important, and it goes on and on and on, we could say, uh, Uyashiba Vaikido, which is a big statement, big level, uh, that's a character. We could probably say, uh, 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 Jesus retained his as Jesus the Christ, a character. Uh, so you, uh, all along the way, this Bobby Robert Nado doesn't stop at Nado. It's finer and finer and finer. Okay, and it's a very important piece uh, that a lot of the awareness types don't catch. They float around and it's nice and easy and loosey-goosey and and they don't kind of catch this part. Not saying it well, maybe, but live with it. We'll come around another day. Okay, easy the eye, easy the eye, easy the eye. Ah, yeah. I, I think also, Amy, that uh, as you're, you practice a bit, your clarity between easy the eye and a character uh, then later it's easier. We're not so wrapped up after a bit when you go, hey, easy the eye. Ah, there he is. Easy the eye. Easy the eye. And he's already doing his thing. It, it's, uh, uh, it's not a new concept after a while. It's like something you kind of know is going on. It's, it's, no, it's... The sense of it going on is going on, but oh, damn words. Yeah, I think sometimes I, I get to that point where it's so relaxing or it's it's such a nice space and I want to bring that space into the real world, but it's hard to do that. You can't do that. That's, that's where we need a character. Yes. You want to go back into the world. We need a character. Yeah. Now, the game is to be at a better dimensional level to establish the character, and that's the character that hopefully is present in the world. And with practice, you get that, that character will sustain for quite a while. Mm. If it's just an awareness about it, uh, it'll fade fast. Mm. But the actual, like, the character having its own experience as a character at that level, uh, he, she can sustain himself, herself uh, for quite a while. It, it'll get bumped along the way, and we just quickly go back to it. Oh, since they could real fast. So it does get faster and easier. We're just working through that, uh, the first pieces of it. So is that where you would say the recognize yourself? 
when you when you used to say or you say now I don't know like recognizing yourself is that recognizing the character so that you can maybe go back to it later or call it back later if it if you need it yeah you're bringing up an older term and I'm trying to remember how how and when I use that term so mm. I think I'll stay away from that one because I can't okay. quite remember <laughs> when I presented that or what I had okay. in mind when I presented that but okay Uh, yeah, probably a good question, but I'm not quite there, Amy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, so uh, dragging dimensionally a 10 pounder into 20 pounds into 30 pounds, you can do it, but it drags, it drags, and probably a lot of little obstructions that happen. Uh, you, you easy the eye, and it can pervade those dimensions. And at any time you get a level of balance, your sense of balance, okay? You can have that balance place be the place where the system will remix. I don't have to verb a mix. The system naturally mixes naturally makes it so I don't turn it into a verb okay Amy check that could you just the way you said it may have sounded like a verb I don't know if it was you check but don't turn it into work at a certain level because the energies are all there hey and they're filling in the character filling in the character and again with practice that'll get faster and faster uh so we'll just practice, take our time, enjoy the process. Yeah. Okay. Easy the eye. Easy the eye. Settling, opening, because we want to make sure we include the lower again. Easy. Okay, let's say. You're moving along. Let's go back to easy the eye. It's getting freer, it's disengaging. You're moving through some dimensions. Easy the eye. Some people mentioned some of the uh, dimensional stuff. Uh, Florida Amy said, uh, not loving, uh, joyful, joyful sense. Uh, <coughs> New Zealand said, Oh, it's kind of field like, whatever field was to him. Okay, all of you, find your dimension easy. What's the, what should I call it? What's the terrain for you? The, those energies may be showing as qualities. For you, what's the quality that are there? Easy. I'm getting a lot of peace, peacefulness. And the word calmness for me, peaceful. Sense of it's okay to do nothing here, it's just a peaceful, calm place. Peaceful is the sense of the energy. Somebody playing. That little angle on it, what's your sense of the energies? Hopefully using a quality word if you're so experiencing. Tom, for example, this might be the place where it begins to feel like home. You remember? Home. certain energy level of balance, which you all pick up your own way. What ways are you picking up a certain level of dimensional balance? Easy the eye, ching, 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 ching. And the dimension I, here. I pick up a very pleasant hum in my body. I, I feel like everything sort of has this nice little resonance. Okay, vi vibrations. Okay, good. 
Well, I would use your word space. Okay, let's see. Space. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, yes, space. But is there a, a, a quality in the space or a space or quality? I'm, help me here. Well, the emptiness or the the space, it just feels, oh, I guess I would say the potential of anything because there's enough space for, for movement or change or growth okay. or something. I have a question, if that's okay. Um, yeah. do, does the eye go get absorbed by the characters, or is the character kind of it feels like the eye? <laughs> How do they come together? Jesus, I don't know, Dusty. Give me a moment here. How were you born? You maybe go back to your birth and and work it out. Because at birth time was creating, hey, you were there. If not then, you were hovering around, and then you decided to kick in. And then this body started to grow. But it was something happened at click time. So if you want to go over your pre-birth a few minutes and your actual, uh, figure it out. But I'm going to spiral in. Uh, does it float through? Uh, maybe somebody knows. I, I, at the moment, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody want to? Noah, you got an answer on that one? You want to go for that one? That's I would say what the eye isn't absorbed, the eye contributes something to the character <clears throat> by its full and complete presence at right. that level. Yeah, but I think Dusty's asking how it came in. I think. Yeah, well, it it felt like as we were doing that easy eye, like the eye was was breaking apart and going to different, did my different characters or my different uh, uh, parts of me. So I don't uh, know if I was getting confused uh, or not. Uh, yeah, um, maybe from how I'm trying to lay it out, a little confusing for me. You got different characters and different eye breaking apart. I'm I'm getting confused. So can we just stay with Dusty? Yeah. <laughs> Pure Dusty. <laughs> now at a different level, maybe it's Mr. Dusty. Yeah. At a better level, maybe it's the great Dusty. Uh, but don't bounce around too much. Uh, and, and just just keep it simple for us dumb people. Me and you included here. <laughs> Kiss. Keep it simple. Yeah, that before birth feels like there's an air, a gust. <laughs> you play. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, God. Uh. Anyway, uh, uh, now we've we've touched on this before. Let me see. All right, come around a bit. Uh, can you see if I stand? Oh, I have to change. Uh, okay. Ah, there we are. Uh, we've touched on this. Oops, I can see it here. We've touched on this before. Standing. We're going to let the arm arm. Okay. All right. And uh, making the arm a little heavier. Bobby, lift the arm. Okay, okay. I lifted my arm and his little tension in the shoulders. Okay. Then historically, I infer easy, easy the eye, which infers this freer movement, disengaging into a better level potentially, and at that level. The arm. Okay. Uh, not necessarily a beautiful movement, but there was no tension in the shoulder like my first one. Okay. 
not unusual to not pick up that much of a change from the one to the two. But by the time we get the third one, should we really begin to notice? Easy. Easy the eye. Easy. Ah, it's disengaging. It's a little freer. And in that, next. Ooh, this one moved up for me a little more uh, long, distinct, and a touch of float to it. A touch of float. I could feel a couple of little muscles grab, but there was a fair amount of float also. That's kind of fun. I like to do one more. Easy. Easy. Disengage from that <sighs> character. Last lifter. Easy. Whatever level I'm at, at that level. Easy. And it raises. Now, this one's starting to, for me, get potentially beautiful. Oh, gracious. That's mine. What's yours? Okay. So in doing arm raises, uh, can you click me? Too much trouble. Oh, they can't see me anyway. Uh, okay. In doing arm raises, we're just uh, trying to uh, show you how close dimensional levels are. Here, we brought out the easy the eye a bit more, but we're, we did basically the same thing. Okay, so far? <clears throat> Another one we've yeah. done historically is uh, <clears throat> ah, just ah, okay? Uh. Everybody, ah. Okay. Easy, easy. The eye freer, open, settling, easy the eye. Ah. So it's freer. Whatever level we're at. Oh. And note the vibration sound of your voice. Okay. Yeah, right? Easy. Easy the eye. Easy the eye. Infers brings us to a finer level. Easy the eye. It's a fast mover. Easy. At whatever level we're at, from that level. Oh. <laughs> God, I love making sounds. <laughs> I love that form of vibration. Uh, and different things you notice with the different sounds. That last one came from deeper and more through my body as opposed to something I was doing. It wasn't me verbing. It like it came through. Hey, and it came through more. Uh, as if soon it's going to be like, who made that sound? I didn't make that sound. It just sort of happened kind of thing. Uh, that'll happen after a while. Ah. So easy the eye to get to a better level quickly. And at that better level, a sound. Ah. Okay. Right? A reminder of past things, but just highlighting the easy the eye part of it. Okay. Uh, I was going to do uh, a past thing where we said what quality comes to you very easily, but we may have touched it uh, on the earlier one where I said what what quality are you getting? Uh, as the energy dimensions show, uh, after a bit finer energies will show as qualities. Okay, and we all have our own little preferences. 
They're natural in your system. You got your color scheme. I got my color scheme. Those are qualities. Okay. Uh, and what's another one? Uh, hang on a sec. I'm dense tonight. Ah. Oh, catch up. Can I borrow you? Okay, Aikido. I hope I can move. Okay, uh, Okay, well, first one. Okay. My first level was I'm a little hair worried, and I had to keep my eye on it. Easy the eye, easy, easy, easy the eye. And it moves quickly to another dimension. And from that dimension, oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. What do you like? The draw. I was like on the track. I mean, there's just no, no way out anymore. It's like, okay. okay, you go there. Okay. So there's a natural draw, right? Okay, easy. Easy. I'm just easy the eye with the sense of finer dimension. And from that dimension, oh, for some reason, a change moves. Was it my intention to change moves? It just happened. And I live with happenings. Easy. Easy the eye. Ah, find your dimension. And <laughs> comment on that one. There was something different in there. Flavor was different. Mm -hmm. There was more. I think the emphasis on on the on the second part. The other one had the had a draw, right. and here it felt like. Okay, starting so deep. The, the previous one, yes, this was on a draw that was happening. Mm -hmm. Here it was this started to come into draw. Yeah, it's trial down that was much stronger. Okay, so thank you, Kajan. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. So what? Uh, Two easy. So maybe we're trying to show tonight that easy the eye is a fast way of moving through dimensions, okay? Uh, but we need some practice at the first few uh, to get the tricks of the trade, the sense of it. Uh, but eventually, eventually, not tomorrow, eventually, uh, the easy the eye, easy the self, easy the truer self, uh, can go through many, many dimensions to a very, what to call it, superior level, finer dimensional, very, very, very fine dimensional level is there for us, okay? Uh, but don't mind practicing with uh, the 10 to the 20 pounder, the Bobby, the Robert, the one by one or two, two by two, or don't, don't mind practicing. And, and getting, uh, I don't know, tricks of the trade, uh, uh, knowing what's interfering and not, not utilizing interfering things. You don't need them. Uh, this can be very easy, easy the eye, kind of thing. Where the hell am I? Somebody? Bob? Could you or speak to any possible relationship between easy the eye and the concept of downtime, that that whole aspect of letting go? Yeah, there is. Oh, let me see if I'm there. Ah. That when we downtime, let go, uh, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of easy the eye going on there. Is that what, what you're saying? I guess I, I was sort of saying is, you know, are we kind of talking about the same thing from a different approach or is there something more specific to say downtime or easy the eye that we should be paying attention to? 
I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we could sometimes tie them all together a certain way, but I also like presenting this I as its own piece and how big time that is, because that goes all the way back to the, to the beginnings of creation, really way back to the finest, most original as its own piece, self, soul, self. A continuation of the I is going to eventually be soul self at the beginning or even pre-creation. You're getting past my pay grade right there, but <laughs> pre-creation. Uh, but yeah, they are related to the let go of everything, downtime, uh, easy, uh, whatever. So is that, that what we're talking about? Yeah, I think I think that's that's my that was my question it's it's yeah. i appreciate that yeah uh yeah in fact when i was mulling on doing this session uh that popped into my mind that uh we should uh, fit that in with those i just didn't have the, the time or the clarity tonight to, to do it but yeah yeah but it's a nice peace to catch what it really is uh you know i, don't I know. guess I'm, I'm coming back to your story about the people who are so excited about easy and this thing we keep coming back to that you know really there there's a pretty simple fundamental and if you do it then it does everything else if you do it then things naturally happen yes be my word yeah Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little, little, little. Uh, uh, while you're all on next Friday, because of a technical problem, uh, we're not going to have a session. Okay. Sorry, we just had a vacation and now we're taking one more off. Uh, anyway, next Friday, no session. Okay. But here's what you can do. If you want to just jot a line, it doesn't have to be a page or even a paragraph, nothing like that. Just what subjects would you like to talk about? Uh, and if you want to, uh, you just say the subject, or you could add a little tiny bit if you want. I, I don't want you to have to write a big thing, uh, but something you want to get go around with again, um, uh, or for more clarity, hopefully. Uh, send them to Lauren. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, TJ, I was talking to you about this session. You on? I'm here, Sensei. Anything you want to jump in on right right now? We had a. Yeah. I first of all, I want to appreciate the depth that you're bringing to this this uh, teaching that you've done over the years of Easy the Eye. So we're seeing, I'm seeing, experiencing the uh, kind of an expanded viewpoint of easy the eye as, as the space and the spaciousness um, that's important in letting go of a sense of identity. And we've talked about that as a, as a 10 pounder, uh, you know, or trying to drag into a 20 pound space or one by two by three by. So the spaciousness that I think Moon mentioned as well, and maybe others, I think is really important because in order to mix up the new character, you have to have the space and you can't be taking the luggage of the, of the previous sense of identity. So the easy the eye is really important um, as a way of moving through the fields uh, or the potentials. I think Moon used the term potential, which I really like, uh, that is possible in the, in the mix up of the new character. So ease of the eye, even though we've heard that and worked with that in various ways, I'm appreciating how you're framing it tonight um, as a, uh, a, a greater potential, as a letting go yeah. Yeah. yeah, I yeah, let me jump in. 
Yeah, I, that's sort of what I wanted to get across, that we've used it before in very simple ways. Easy the eye. Now look at your arm move better. Easy, easy. Look at your Kotika Hishi was better. Wow. Uh, we presented it in lesser levels, so to speak. You know, we're on track. But, but, but tonight I'd like to get across the wow of the continuation of Easy the Eye. And as it continues, it may change its name about itself and say self. It may change its name and say, oh, I'm the more original self. It may change its name and say, uh, whatever, whatever. One word will come up maybe eventually is uh, transparency of self. Yes. Hold that off. Uh, uh, that this is really big time. It's, a, it's an important piece itself. Okay. In some ways, it's also uh, the dimension or the mix up that you, the mix, the new mix of the character is also very, uh, it can be very intuitive. When you were showing in Aikido, uh, at working with Kacha, what showed up for you, you weren't cognating that, you weren't strategizing that, you were open to the space of what was uh, in Moon's word, uh, potential there. So that's always interesting. And, and it's uh, one of the exciting aspects of coming into harmony with the, with the universe here. Yeah, uh, oh, I, I think in many, most of the times, a lot of the time, all the time, oh, Sensei, I didn't know what technique was gonna happen. Yeah. You know, obviously he was teaching this technique thing would do that. But uh, it would be like, whatever, something's gonna happen. He just didn't interfere with the happening. So we named it Takimusu, you know, <laughs> Takimusu Aiki. And, uh, and yeah, that was, that was a beautiful expression. And you've often said that real Aikido may show up different than anything you have ever, ever done with the uh, formal techniques. Yeah. Yeah. For me, yeah, that's another discussion. Uh, yeah, and to not get locked up in formal technique. We do it this way. <clears throat> Robotville. Yeah. Jesus, people. It's a jail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the robots get stronger. What a shame. <laughs> if they didn't, our work would be very easy. But they do get a bit better. And you say, go inner. And they say, why? I'm getting strong. <laughs> Dumber, but I'm getting strong. <laughs> oh, my God. The human condition. Indeed. Indeed. Anything, TJ? Yeah. So, yeah, with this, I mean, we're, I think one of the, one of the interesting phrases you used to, used to use in this was, don't train for stupid. It's kind of a, a little coarse, but in, this, in the same way, as we let go, we're opening to that spacious potential and you have to get comfortable. That's why I think you're encouraging us to practice with this. You gotta get comfortable with the spaciousness. You can't keep a dime on the, uh, on the phone booth. Uh, that's an old uh, yeah. reference, but you know. Yeah, or you can practice in the, at first, earlier to get comfortable in a semi-controlled way. Sure. If space is big and you're not sure what to do. Uh, 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 check for some some form of harmony or balance, whatever might show with that. And with that, then who's the character? It'll maybe another little click open, but a character will be mixed there because your qualities are there. You're in your own world here, your own universe, whatever you want to call it. And all your stuff is, is here. Mm. It's a matter of opening to it. Uh, this guy is not very open to the more of himself, but this is himself. All those dimensions within those finer dimensions, it's just more of you. Yeah. So a finer level of, uh, of uh, easy the eye. Uh, your qualities will show pure and mix pure uh, stuff like like that. So uh, I don't go anywhere. It's you, you, you're you're right here. You're right here. Uh, it's dimensionally will move, but we're not going anywhere. Yeah, right. Here. <laughs>
one last thing, uh, Sensei, as as Amy was, uh, I was interested in Amy's inquiry. Wait a minute. Two Amy's. Oh, uh, Amy Shipley. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hi, Amy. <laughs> we're, you were talking uh, about the what to do in that space, but in in that space, the space itself is an important aspect of the transformation from a one. However, we're going to frame that from a one by to a two by. Bobby Robert Nado Sensei, that whole lineage of of uh, of movement. Uh, the in the language that we've used, or that you've used sensei, it's a, the 10 pounder to the 20. But whatever allegory we use in there, it's, a, it's an evolution that's directly connected with, with, with my lineage, with Amy's lineage, with your lineage, as you were talking about the colors and the mm -hmm. spectrum, that's another way of framing that. So it's not gonna be inconsistent what arises in a char in the next character won't be like this is weird. I never thought of this. You know, it's gonna there's gonna be some tie in, even though you're not dragging the yeah. uh, the previous character uh, into the new space. I, I, I think both though uh, uh, with uh, finer levels of character showing. Um, uh, one you might be surprised because he's so much more capable. Let's say you're a Bobby going to a Nado or something. You might be surprised because of his cap capabilities. Yeah. Okay. But there'll also be that sense of, oh, it's capable in a way that even Bobby is sort of interested or familiar with. Is that so kind of both? I yeah, think? I, think, I, I think we're talking about a, a sense of lineage that, yeah. it's, not, that yeah. it's not totally foreign, but it's, it, it'll be new dimensions might be totally yeah. new. Uh, yeah. In other words, the one by can't really even imagine a three by. Oh yeah, yeah. No, so, no uh, there's a potential. I remember my early days. Uh, some sense of uh, a finer level of me uh, would scare the lesser me. Yeah, uh, it'd be like, well, we're gonna let's say the finer levels. We're gonna have a lot of responsibility. And the lesser said, I can't cope with more responsibility. I can't even get by life, my life now, you know. But it's like, I'm sorry, Bobby, you heard that. It wasn't meant for you to hear it. He's not talking to you. He's talking about himself. <laughs> yes, it's too beautiful for sure. I was, I was wondering about this too, because it, I posted it in the chat too. And maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense, but the you've created a character you're in that character space but the situation can instantly change so that that easy the eye is always it's like your right hand gal guy whatever it's like you're it's there with you all the time is that right i mean because you could get slammed to the ground or you could like do something different right the, the situation is different and it yeah. requires a different maybe character every time that, uh, that's that why sensei, that's why sensei said it can happen very quickly yeah when yeah. you're when you're in that space the transformation to the next character can be yeah, snap, yeah. Snap. really fast it's really See, fast and and in those sensei's levels the i'm trying to remember i was just going over that the other day uh the situation changes the character they're a instant relationship between situation circle centered character there's a relationship a dialogue a, a beat uh situation changes boom this is has changed bang kind of thing uh, which i think is what you're talking about sort of yeah and just yeah. but that easy the eye has to be there like you're just it's inherent <laughs> well you have to get to a level to actually experience that level of that circle responding to the center and the center responding back at this level I'm talking about. I'm not talking about uh, Bobby level. Right. Uh, it, it'll work better, but it won't be a fantastic level. Let's say oh, Sensei's level is a fantastic level. Uh, to get to that level, I think we have to backtrack, backtrack, easy the eye, easy the eye, easy the eye and see the lay of the land and how it works and, 
and 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 uh, the characters that are there, for example, and just how it works and to be uh, part of how it works. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but I believe I was say I said that because I was just researching that the other day. Uh, that when this change, when the situation changed, being bad, this is changing. Uh, so we can I like what I like what Amy is saying also. This is Tom Sensei. Hey Tom. Good evening. I, I like what Amy is saying, uh, retaining this um easy to eye in terms of trading in. Uh, in other words, I'm you know, with this spatial quality, it allows me to be able to trade in a character. Um and the space is part of that. The easy, the I is the vehicle yeah. that allows that trading in to happen. Yeah. Because eventually that is going to have to happen. There, there, that, there's just no question about it. And after a bit, just to try to eventually speed things up, let's be careful even of words like, not I, my words, trade it in. Right. I don't want to get caught in the slowness of, oh God, I got to trade Bobby in because this attacker is coming at me and I can't cope. I got to trade him in. I, I don't want to get stuck in that slowness there. I'm dead. He's going to kill me. Right. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so one thing about this is I'm trying to get across the eventual speed and effortlessness with this free eye, how freely it can pass through dimensions. And in finer dimension, bing, how fast new mixes happen. So uh, that's why I'm, I'm saying, Amy, be careful how you word that. It, your sense may be fine, but I don't want people to say, oh, now I got to mix up a character. While this attacker is all over me, I'm trying to mix up a character. It's like, hey, boom, it's, it's, it mixes. Now, again, we can in practice take our time and make sure we're fuller feeling the character and stuff like that, but not to get caught up in the time or no eventually that's not there anymore i'm just doing it slowly to make sure i'm full and stuff later it is full kind of thing but uh, yeah. i hadn't i hadn't this is amy from florida i had an experience with you when i was 28 years old and just wait, 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 amy, to do, amy yeah I, I don't know if they're ready for you and my experiences what's that we have to make sure there are no children watching tonight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Amy. <laughs> this is this is this is for everyone. <laughs> um, but it was right. we used to go to the doggy diner after class. Oh, God, and doggy I diner. Was yes. just, I had just started Aikido and I was 28 years old and I guess I wanted to be cute or smart ass or something like that. You know, my New York came out and I said something to you that was just, I meant it like a tease or smart ass or, and, but it came out like, like a verbal attack. And what I saw, which blew my mind was your energy body got off the line. Your physical body was there. Your energy body got off the line. And what you said to me, how you uh, dealt with, you know, the conversation we then had was just peaceful. Like it just went on as if nothing happened. There was no, there was no, uh, the situation did not affect you. You just got off the line of it. Okay. I yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I just would be like off the line because I want people to be in the here and now kind of stuff. So I want them to go over there to do this process work. Uh, so get off the line. Probably more like change from the heavy normal asshole Nado, whoever he is, to boom. Yeah, this, that's what happened. Yeah. It was that boom. It just happened. Boom. It was it was it. <laughs> Beautiful. It was beautiful. Sometimes the magic works. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, can, Elaine here. Um, can you hear me? Okay. Um, we're 
where I find this to really be um, uh, important or even pragmatic in a way in my life and work with my clients and uh, pruning in my garden, um, which I love, um, the, the really potent moments when you're engaged, like if, if I'm involved in a session and, and um, there are these pauses of, you know, just pausing in the experience of being with this person in a session. And that's that opportunity for a level change, uh, a, a fuller answer of what the situation is asking for. This is just a great um, description of that process that I feel I experience. And um, I mean, where I love it with pruning is, you know, you, you can just, um, you can just be with a tree and, and find the shape it likes. Um, it tells you what to cut. It tells you what it wants and, and that can change in the process of being with it. Yeah. It might not be what I plan initially, it might change. And yeah. I won't catch that change unless I'm in this process. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a lighter way of describing it. it. With a client, it's a really, it's a much deeper process because there's so much going on in the situation, you know, the human. involved yeah. in how I am and all of those things. Let me interject for a moment. Uh, I like the word pause with the sense of downtime. Mm -hmm. I, I know you're using it that it fits in with the easy the eye pattern, uh, but back to what Moon was saying. Uh, uh, about they're, they're very similar. So a pause is a downtime, which brings us potentially to another level, if you know what you're doing, and that better level responds better, sees the tree better, or what, whatever. Uh, so, so yeah, so the patterns of, uh, uh, again, I forget the words tonight, but downtime, trading in, uh, letting go, and the and the uh, easy the eye and what that really means. Yes, there, there, there's a strong relationship there. I don't know how to word it well tonight, but a strong relationship. Uh, but again, I wanted to bring out uh, uh, the importance of the eye self, eventual soul self. Uh, that's big time. And I didn't want it to be sort of, oh, that's just a, a pause. That's just a... Uh, 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 letting go, it's nothing much kind of thing. I just want to sort of get away from that sense of it and, and promote. Uh, uh, it's a beautiful piece and how it works is beautiful. And uh, as we experience it more uh, and the effortlessness in which it can move through dimensions and what happens from finer dimensions, uh, that's wow, that's wow. So that's all I was trying to say. Uh, and not sure tonight how to say that about a downtime or trading in or pause or all those other words. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And let's keep in mind, easy the I, I self, I truer self, essential I soul self. It's we got a ways to go yet. It's a fun go, go around. Anyway, Elaine. thank you, Elaine. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, Bob, Bob, you know, you've used easy the eye forever. I mean, I've, I've known you for a long time and, and you've used it for a long time. And I, I, it always was just like something to help me click, um, <clears throat> you know, and to open into a wider space. But what you're doing tonight is, is really creating a, a true experience that, that allows you to move into something more rather than just a phrase that, that helps you make a transition. Yeah. Let me jump in. Yes, uh, uh, this is the problem. People learn a phrase, easy the eye. And maybe in using that phrase, maybe they do a little bit 
a visa to the eye and they get a little something better and they say, oh, I got it, that's great. What we're saying here is on and on and on and it's a beautiful trip yeah. and an important trip, the trip we eventually have to make people. Uh, yes, go ahead, sorry. Well, no, that's that's essentially it. It's just, you, you know, it's 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 like you've created a doorway rather than a, a, a it just being a a a technique or a help helper to 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 open more. This is like a doorway to something. It, it is a doorway. Can I ask a question? Is that okay? Um, okay, so yeah, we're. You know, it's Elaine again. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes, Elaine. Um, maybe. Okay. So this is in the stupid question category. Um, Great. What is the common denominator when you're thinking about how, you know, you don't want to just trade in, you're not just letting go. Um, what do you see as that? Uh, basis or a common denominator is it just a uh, an experience of, of the universe. Um, what is the continuity? What continues through all of that? Stupid question. But yes, <laughs> important. Uh, I'm going to need help. Uh, <laughs> what's the common denominator? One, if, I, if I'm hearing you, uh, to get to a finer dimension where we're a better level of ourselves and a better level of self functions better, so you're better in the world, potentially, hopefully. Uh, you're a better tree cutter from a better dimension of you, level of you. Uh, help me here. Elaine, help. Well, okay, so I don't know, um, maybe it, this just. Elaine, may I? Uh, yeah. No, no, because I, there's a piece in here that I think what, if I heard you right in the same resonance of where, where we started with this, there's some fundamental thing that you're trying to describe that you're teaching us through this one approach that you've taught us through maybe several. Um, that fundamentally opens up into this dimensional process where then you know what to do with your clients and so on and so forth. And I want to go back, Bob, to the story you tell about O-Sensei uh, coming out on the mat and then stopping and, and, you know, breaking away from doing the quote unquote technical training and going over and doing whatever he would call his process and coming back. And the fact, uh, what I'm trying to say is like, then he would come back and he would have his techniques, a musician would have his scales or whatever would have, but something took place in that. And I'm guessing that was pretty close to easy the eye or some <laughs> way of talking about it that, that resonates with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. period, the name of the game kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, to move into a better level of yourself, boom and things happen so at a better level you potentially play better music at a better level you cut the tree better according to how it wants to look and whatever uh at a better level you treat your client patient better do better work they'll pass the word on to their friends and neighbors you do great work uh uh so we have that plus along the way that we should uh, be uh, potentially functioning a bit better as a sign that we're doing this work. Okay. The goal is much more than that. Um, so I'm not going to get stopped because I, I get to a level where I got a job and I'm making 500,000 a year. Uh, wouldn't stop me, no, I'm not talking about everyone, wouldn't stop me from continuing this inner quest, this inner development, this inner searching for the more and more original of things. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The floor is yours, Elaine. Thank you, Richard. 
people, we're eating up time. Anything? Easy in the eye. The fundamental practice, the whatever it is that you're describing here, it's just, um, I kind of feel like, I, I, like I guess the resonance between the way you've taught it through downtime and the way you're talking about it tonight, uh, that somewhere it, we start to recognize, uh, I don't, actually, I don't even think I want to go there, just that the process is big. The simple process is much bigger than it looks. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I was even going to say something like, uh, 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 TJ, you can jump in on this one here, uh, that basically meditation is just basically easy the eye and continue. Well, in fact, it is. <laughs> it is. And, and you do need to let go. And part, and part of that initially is there's some sense of, uh, of calmness. But it's, that's, not the, that's not the destination. That just no. becomes the part of the texture. Yeah, along the way, there are different vibrational levels. Yeah. There'll be joyful, there'll be calmness, there'll be uh, really, really caring, uh, love, and on a, and yes, 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 but those are vibrational levels. And you must continue also through those. And you must be a character at different le levels. Who are you at this level? Be a character, function. Yeah. In order to in order to open up to any kind of genuine uh, insight about the nature of self or the nature of the universe, yeah. you can't be dragging your initial sense of self identity into hmm. that. Otherwise, you're that's just why the beginning of this class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I said it right, if people heard it, yeah, uh, uh, that there's this confusion in here. Yeah, and just to start with. Ah, this is this, and that is that, or vice versa. That's that, this is this. And as the this and the that are get clearer to you, which was experientially, get clearer to you, this can be very fast and very easy. And we don't have to clutter it up with too much stuff. There's no, no reason to. Well, the key word that you used, I think, is experientially, that, it's, that it is, in fact, a direct uh, experience and not uh, a projection or an imagination. And that's why I've got my little red balloon up here. Uh, let's see, I'm well versed in this red balloon. That's how I started meditating. Thank God I had a good connection with the body because I didn't, but it was upper aware. I was doing basic meditation, masculine style, God the Father kind of thing. And I say I was good at it. I was. I was natural. Bing, bing. I got in some beautiful spaces. Yeah. You know what my question was before I went to Japan? It's true here in my sittings. It's true. I knew there was a trickle down. I don't recall the details of a trickle down, but I knew there was a trickle down. But my question when I went to Japan was, is it real here in the world? Here. Yeah. And I saw since then, I said, oh, shit, it is. It's now, how do, I, <laughs> how do I catch on to, to that? That's why I keep emphasizing the experience of it, not just the awareness of it. That's why I push on that. Uh, well, your question yeah. has opened up a, a whole new world for all of us that have studied with you over these years. And that was a, that's an essential question that many, even the advanced teachers, didn't ask, I have to say. You know, so appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sensei. Uh, I, I, advanced teachers, I, uh, what does that mean? Their Nikyo is stronger? <laughs> what does that mean, advanced teachers? Yeah, I don't know. Well, they got rank, I think, you know, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, I, I vote for the experience anyway. as the common denominator that Elaine was asking for. And in, in agreement with what Tija is saying, it, the common denominator is the experience. It's not the idea of, it's not the idea, it's the experience that is the common denominator. 
the eye wants to make the itself and the idea the, the common denominator, but that's not it. Yeah. Uh -huh. experience. And and that it's all here to experience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's dimensional here. Yeah. yeah. Dimensioning here, yeah. Yeah. Well, same as they said, don't go anywhere. It's here. But some of the things when you're heavy, you got to figure out, like he said, I think he was talking about the universe. He said, now you put that in your body. And it was like, how can I put that big thing? And I, I, I mumbled around with that for more than a week, I'll tell you. Put the universe in your body. Put the universe in your body. Then it got kind of crowded. I couldn't quite fit it in that way. But this inner space, and you realize it is the universe, and it is inner, finer, dimensional. So it is in your body. So that made sense. But to first hear that and to try that, like, that was weird. <laughs> Put the universe in your body. Ah, you want me, Katya? No. It's time, people. Enjoy a free Friday, sorry. Uh, but enjoy and do jot me a, a line if it's something you want to talk about, you know, so you can jot anything from a word to a sentence to you don't have to do big stuff. I'm not asking for a lot of work. I uh, just uh, keep things going. Uh, thank you for tonight, uh, Moon. Thank you, uh, Elaine. Tija, thank you. Thank you. Uh, all you people. All the Amy's in the world, thank you. <laughs> Bob, if we were in town, I'd take you out to dinner. Good class, thank you. Yes.